So we'll now delve a little further into the apps menu on the left hand side. In here you can manage all of the apps that are assigned to all of your groups across your entire organization. You can see that it starts on an overview tab where we can see exactly which apps have been installed or deployed, successfully or unsuccessfully. We can look at our groups, and at the moment we have just one group. We can see how they're doing, we can look at the install status for those groups and particular devices within them. We haven't got any devices in here yet, we'll do that in a little while. On the left hand column we can see all of the apps that we have available. We can see that we've got web apps and that there are six of them, and we can see that there's store apps and there are seven available. That doesn't mean that they are installed, it means they are available to install later. At the bottom here, there's an option to install a desktop app. Intune for Education can install desktop applications to versions of Windows 10 Education and Professional. It is limited to an MSI installation package that will be pushed out to the PC in the normal way. These MSI packages cannot be installed on Windows 10 S machines. If you're running a Windows 10 S machine, this option won't apply because Windows 10 S only works with store and web applications. If I wanted to add a new app here, I just hit the New App button, and I'll be taken back to the Education Store to purchase or add applications. The Education Store is very similar to the consumer-oriented Windows Store, but customised towards education. Perhaps my school uses Duolingo. All I need to do is click Get the App, and once I've clicked it, it will be added to my inventory in Intune for Education. This can take a few moments, but it normally works within one hour. You'll see your new apps appear in the list, and I can see the Duolingo app that I added earlier, now in my list. I can see that I've added it to no groups and it hasn't been installed anywhere. But if I go back to my groups, find my computer lab, choose apps and then edit, I can see that Duolingo is available to deploy to that group, just like Minecraft or any of the other apps.